Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Fingers crossed, everyone, that this is third time lucky. <laughs> this is the third time I've tried to record this video. All righty. I was going to do it in my kitchen, but I'm working on cooking videos for you. So the kitchen looks like a bomb has gone off. So we're back in the craft room. Well, um, Emma, one of our viewers, asked for my thoughts on eating out once a week as a treat or a splurge to help the economy going so people still have jobs. And I thought, well, that's an interesting question because, you know, I'm pretty... Um, I might seem pretty gung-ho and about saving money and, and we might look like we live a miserable life and we don't. Now, the short answer is I have no problem with anyone eating out if, and it is a big, it is a huge if, they are debt-free and have a fully funded emergency fund. If you don't have those things, then you really can't afford to eat out. And if you think eating out is doing a service to your community, that's great. And I am all for helping our communities. You'll just need to find another way to support the community. Now, is that harsh? I don't think so, but you might. What is harsh, though, is interest rates rising, mortgage interest rates rising, prices rising. And you enjoying a meal out every week and not being able to pay that mortgage and perhaps losing your house, that's harsh. But it's also a reality. If you have debt, you can't afford to eat out. Now, it's not forever. It's just until you have paid off those debts and built up your emergency fund. Now, I know many of you, oh, I don't know, many of you, won't like me saying that but it is the truth now we rarely eat out and I mean rarely I was thinking about it and it's been almost three years since we last since Wayne and I last sat in a restaurant or a cafe and had a meal now that's not because we don't like eating out we absolutely enjoy a nice meal together or with friends every now and then for a special occasion but we don't do it as habit it's not something that is a part of our lifestyle or not a regular part of our lifestyle see I would much rather keep the 50 or more dollars to use for something else than pay for you know a meal or a cup of coffee or a soft drink now, we usually have friends here for a meal. It's cheaper and it is much more relaxing. And, you know, if I've got little kids or younger kids, the kids come too. So there's no babysitting involved. And I appreciate that because for a long time we couldn't afford to eat out and we had three little children that had to be babysat. So that added to the cost of our night out. It made it very expensive way back then. It will be even more so today. And when that changed and we could actually afford to go out more often, we realised that we actually prefer to eat the meals we prepare at home. We can have what we like. We can have it when we like it. We don't have to get dressed up. No, not me. I like dressing up. But someone who shall remain nameless thinks he's being punished if he has to, you know, put on a button-down shirt and get out of his jeans. There's no driving, battling traffic, looking for parking, no waiting. There's no eating with dozens of other people we don't know surrounding us. Now, I know they're all the negatives to eating out. And they're not that bad, really. But, you know, we have a tight budget. We went into this year with a tight budget and it's getting tighter. And as I imagine many of you are finding your budgets are getting tighter. So eating out, 
And while right now we could afford it occasionally if we wanted to, eating out could possibly become unaffordable, very unaffordable, very, very soon. I did a quick through my head and you know, we eat for a week for less than the price of a pub meal for the two of us. So it just makes sense to eat at home. Now, I have a few tricks that make getting dinner on the table easy, that make getting lunch ready easy. For a start, you'll know what my number one is, but for a start, the pantry is full of ingredients. Why? Because ingredients give you options. And then I meal plan, and I write that meal plan on the fridge so that everyone can see it. Every time they go to the fridge, the meal plan's there in front of them. So even if I'm not home, they know what's for dinner. Now, I meal plan a year in advance, and I have done that for years. It works. And yes, we mostly stick to the meal plan, but because it's ingredient-based, if I decide I don't want to cook a chicken Alfredo pasta bake, I can take that chicken and I can take the sauce and I can use some veggies off the shelf to make chicken pot pie because the ingredients are mostly the same and everything needed is already in the pantry anyway. So I'm not locked into the meal plan, you know, like it's set in cement. And I double up cook. I never make a single batch of soup. I never make a single batch of spaghetti sauce. I never make just one quiche or one lot of pies or one lot of sausage rolls. Okay. When I do bolognese sauce, I quadruple the recipe. I fill my wok till it's almost too full to stir. I never make just one lasagna. When I make breakfast muffins, and that's an upcoming video that I've been working on today is the sausage McMums, I make three dozen at a time and put them in the freezer. It means that we can eat one meal and at least one other one goes into the freezer for another meal in the future. Now, sometimes I'll do batch cooking um, a whole day, you know, a big cook-up. But I don't do that very often. It's time-consuming. It's exhausting. It is a lot of work and a lot of prep. So I make it easy on myself and I simply double or triple or quadruple the recipe as I'm making it. Doing that only adds about 10 to 15 minutes to the total time. There's one lot of meal prep, one clean up, and the freezer gains at least one, but usually three meals that just need to be thawed and heated. It's easy, and it saves us going to eat out. When I make enchiladas or quesadillas or meatballs or cream cheese patties or quick rice patties or what else, fish cakes, then the recipe is definitely quadrupled because these are recipes that I consider labour intensive and I don't want to spend all my time in the kitchen working so it makes sense to only have to quadruple the recipe and only have one lot of prep and one lot of clean up for an extra 10 minutes of time rather than spending half an hour you know to make a simple res a single recipe in the future. Those things all freeze and thaw really well too. And all these things make eating at home easy and cheap and healthy because I control what goes into them. I control the salt. I control the fats. I control the sugars. I don't put anything artificial. There's no artificial flavours or colourings in my meals. They're fresh herbs or dried herbs, good spices, good butter, good cream, good cheese, fresh veggies, good quality meat. So, you know, it's better for us too. And it's cheaper because it uses ingredients just ingredients 
And honestly, when we can eat so well at home, why would we want to spend money on a perhaps average, hopefully not, but perhaps average meal that's going to cost a week's grocery budget? We wouldn't. And so we don't. We keep eating out for special occasions and we tend to make it an experience that we truly enjoy. So if we're going to eat out, we go to a good restaurant. We go to a really good pub or a really good bistro where we can get something that we don't make at home. So we can enjoy it and so we can get our value for value for our money. Anyway, that's my thoughts on eating out and using eating out as supporting the community as an excuse. Do it, don't do it. It's entirely up to you. We don't. Now, before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be more easily recognized. And the more easy it is for um, people to find us, the easier it is no, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is still possible even in 2022. Have a great day, everyone, and happy cheapskating. <laughs>